Most anyone will tell you that real estate is a local phenomenon, and that is true. But when we say that, are we really paying attention to it? We see these national headlines that tend to scare us, tend to give us information that we may not know uh, whether it's hitting our backyard or not. So case in point, I'd like to kind of talk about some information and some stats that have come out for the month of May uh, delivered on a nationwide basis and how different it is nationwide to where it is local. And in this case, local obviously being Las Vegas. So for May, uh, the aggregators of data, some of these larger brokerages that are operating in all 50 states have said that new listings in the month of May were up 13 point, uh, about 13% year over year from the prior year. Now, that is a lot, right? 13% more new listings in the month of May. And we usually see listings hit the months of April, May, June a little bit harder. Now, in Las Vegas, that same time frame, May, uh, May of 23 compared to May of 24, we're actually down 11.7% in terms of new listings that hit the market this May compared to last May. Huge discrepancy, huge difference. The total number of inventory, aka all the homes that are sitting on the market, right now, nationwide, year over year, the end of May of 24 compared to end of May of 23, we are seeing nationwide 22% more homes available for sale. That's a lot. Now, it's still less than is quote unquote needed. However, in Las Vegas, we're currently at 32.9% less this time this year compared to this time last year. Huge, huge difference once again. The other thing that the article pointed out that was on CNBC, and I'll drop a link in the comments, was 40% of all homes have been on the market for 60 days or longer. Now, I don't have a direct correlation or a direct stat that is very similar for Las Vegas, but I can tell you this. The median days on market in Las Vegas for all property types is 17 days. And the average is only 35 days. So we are going to have some homes that are obviously higher, but we know that not 40% are sitting on the market more than 30 days. Now, why do we have that? And what's really going on? Again, like I always say, real estate is so micro-oriented that what's going on in the nation, we should pay attention to, but what's going on locally is what affects us, affects you as a home buyer or home seller. So right now, our inventory levels are far lower than they have been the year before. In this case, like I said, total inventory down almost a third. There's a third less properties for sale right now than there were this time last year. And we're not seeing that same type of spring increase. I always will mention this when I'm talking to potential sellers or anybody that's really talking about the market. We do have seasonality here in Las Vegas, and we tend to see more inventory hit the market uh, in the springtime. But clearly, we're not seeing that. It's not really translating because we actually had 11.7% less homes hit the market in May of 2024 than they did in 2023. So where Le Vegas is, is we're really kind of an outlier uh, where our stats are not uh, following suit with what's going on nationwide. That's definitely interesting and it's definitely things to, to keep in, uh, in touch with. Now, the other thing we always are gonna talk about, the big thing that everybody's concerned with right now is of course, the inventory and mortgage affordability. Now, we know the last two years have been rough, but what I'm gonna say is the last two years have been in a consistent band, kind of between six and 8%. We shot up and we've been in the six to 8% range for, the, for about two years now is where we've been. So we're actually down a little bit from where we had been, but overall, we're probably not gonna see much of a change anytime soon. The Fed has not dropped rates. They are saying that now where at the end of 2023, we were thinking four or five rate cuts. We're maybe seeing one. And as always, rate cut is not necessarily directly correlated with a mortgage drop and mortgages can and do change for other reasons. But if the Fed is now not expecting inflation to slow down enough, job growth is, is still happening, all that stuff that we're not gonna see a rate environment where rates uh, for mortgages are gonna come down substantially anytime soon. So this is where we are. Affordability still, of course, is an issue. But when you look at the numbers, we have less homes on the market now. 
We have less homes uh, taking longer to sell. Things are still selling quickly, right? Things are actually down considerably in terms of days on market from a year ago. That's why we're seeing pricing increase. That's why we're seeing pricing reaching close to another all-time high again. Uh, our all-time high for the Valley for single families, 481, which we hit in 2022. We're right around 475 right now. So we're really, really close. So all those losses that we had when we went from 480 down to 410 have pretty much been uh, wiped out. And anybody who's bought in the last year or so, year and a half, has seen that equity rise. So that's where we are. And that's why I like to point out that real estate is local. You can see national headlines scare you. You can see national headlines that may not be, a, they may not scare you, but they're telling a different story than what's going on in your backyard. Because when it comes to real estate, what's happening in your neighborhood is more important than when it's happening across town or across the country. If you have any questions, as always, let us know.